A company in southwestern Ontario claims to have developed game-changing technology in the fight against COVID-19. It's designed a wall-mounted device that looks similar to a carbon monoxide detector. It scans the air for COVID-19 particles. The devices aren't in use yet. They're still in the testing phase, and they're not cheap. The cost is about $12,000 each. Jeff Semple explains how they work and how they could one day be put to use. The pandemic is a fight against an invisible enemy. But what if there was a way to detect COVID-19 lurking inside a classroom or on a train? An Ontario company claims they've developed a tool to do just that. We feel very good about, you know, being part of the solution. Paul Gezi's company specializes in indoor air quality. Their tech typically used to check for dangerous gases in industrial facilities. But when COVID-19 struck, Gezi wondered if their tools could be repurposed for the pandemic. Could we look for COVID like we do for air quality? They developed this wall-mounted device called BioCloud. Placed in a classroom, for example, or any space up to 1,000 square feet, Gezi says a built-in fan sucks up all the air in the room multiple times in an hour, which is then instantly analyzed. We believe our technology will flag and alert for COVID, and then you can properly test each individual. Lab tests at this Ontario university found the BioCloud device could quickly and effectively detect an array of airborne pathogens, including the virus that causes COVID-19. There's absolutely huge potential for this type of technology. Similar tech is being developed around the world to detect COVID-19 in the air or in a patient's breath. While experts debate to what extent the virus is airborne, studies show it can linger in a poorly ventilated room for hours. Uh, but if they're in the classroom for like three to six hours at a time, with no ventilation, eventually wherever you disperse it, that virus will build up and build up and build up. But pulling a virus out of thin air is tricky. COVID-19 is fragile and looks similar to other virus particles. I was quite happy uh, to see actually this new technology coming up. But as a scientist, uh, then the questions start coming up, you know, uh, what is the level of sens sens sensitivity? How selective is um, uh, the device against just this particular uh, virus, the novel coronavirus? And at this point, we don't know. BioCloud's technology is a trade secret, but it's now being reviewed by the Canadian government, and the company hopes to start selling to customers around the world by November. Jeff Semple, Global News, Toronto.